Okay, all right. Um, Moonlighter. Game, roguelike. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Let's just get into it. Um, I'm excited to play the game at least. Okay, pause for a second. Editing Kaiju here. While making this video, I had no idea what Moonlighter is. So I'm here to shed some light on what the game really is about. So Moonlighter is an action RPG with roguelite elements about Will, a shopkeeper that has dreams of becoming a hero. To make a living, Will needs to venture into the dungeons near his town, defeat strange monsters, and obtain items he can sell in his shop. Managing the gold from those sales wisely is the only way he'll become strong enough to open the final dungeon. Moonlighter has procedurally generated dungeons, extremely hard bosses, many unique items, mountains of gold, some silly and interesting enemies, and only one shop at the center of it all. Moonlighter is available for download on Steam, at a cost of course, if you want to play it for yourself. So go ahead, link is in the description. This video is not sponsored. Press any key or button to continue, and it's not where- oh. Never mind. Alright, new game. Oh, hard is recommended. Original difficulty level created by the developers, recommended for most players. Alright, sure. That should be interesting. I thought I thought normal would be the the recommended since it's it's normal, but I guess the developers think it's fun. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They call them the dungeons, strange, they're ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. Ah, okay, uh, that's too fast. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Yeah, dungeons. Continue. Interesting so far. Alright. I'm digging this. And I'm in the dungeon. Uh, is that me? I, th I don't know. Uh, uh, tutorial? Sure. Why do they give me breakables? That I'm, I'm just gonna break all of them. Space? Oh yeah, space. Just to dodge or roll. Sweet. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't- I th okay. Dodge! Oh, so the dodge makes you invincible. Makes sense. I'm breaking all of these. Never give me break of- oh god. Broom attack! Oh! Ow! Broom attack! Boom! That seems slow. That seems really slow. Oh, I can use it pretty fast actually. That was just me. That- Oh! Oh! So they open when you finish kill- uh, Makes sense, makes sense. It's a roguelike game, of course. Wouldn't give you the treasures if you haven't defeated- What am I doing? I'm taking that. Water lamp, whatever that is. Quick move all. Beautiful. Alright. Sorted by price. Sweet. <laughs> Can I get another weapon other than a broom? No. <sighs> so the person who recommended this game to me. Hold on. 
Oh sh Hey, 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 hold on a minute. This just went from zero to a hundred real quick. Let me heal. I need to What's going on? Ah Can I go back? How do I how am I gonna I'm supposed to lose? I was I was definitely supposed to lose. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I thought many people died from the dungeons. How did I just get spat out like that? Hey! That's mean. Call me a sad looking kid. That's not nice. Is this my shop? Oh yeah, it's my shop. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? He could manage. Will, listen to me. The old truth is this. You are the last of our family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolishness. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have a little need I have little need for it now. So you <laughs> Grandpa, you idiot. You just gave me a sword and a shield. Of course I'm gonna go back there. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some... Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Oh, so, so you just my, my uncle or something? Okay, uncle, I think. Random dude, what do I do? I'm a shopkeeper. All right. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow customers to come in. And allow the customers in. Okay. Hold to open shop. Hey, wh hey, what are you doing? Oh, you're just gonna... Hey, you like that shit, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sure. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. Okay, so smiley face. Got it. Got it, uncle. Uh, old man. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Alright, what do you got? You won't, you, you won't, you're not gonna like those prices, huh? Oh god, hold on, my, 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 my battery's dying. Alright. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Alright. It looks dark already. Is it nighttime? Why is it so dark? You have kept up with your merchant notebook, right? Is it... Wait, what? 
Oh, that's E. Okay, where's my merchant notebook? Is it E? Okay, I think this is it. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. Oh, that was fast. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory. That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Of course, Grand... Uh, uncle. I'll try this new sword. In the dungeon! Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant, boy! Alright, Gramps. I mean, Uncle. Person, I'm not sure what you are. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Oh, you want me to... Oh. Shield! And I can hold it. Nice. And I can die. Oh. Ah, this is nice. You got a new sword, don't you? Head on off to the dungeon, boy. Okay, dungeon it is. Was it up here? Dungeons. Uh, yeah, I... Obviously, it's up here. We close off the dungeons because it was too dangerous for people. Has a big sign. Dungeons. Keeps it open completely. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and here. Okay. I mean, who else would they allow to go into the dungeons? Civilians? People without what? I just don't see how they made this dungeon any less accessible. Okay, I'm going in here. I wonder how much damage this does. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I come in here with a broom? Am I retard- uh, I mean, am I- <laughs> Seems, seems okay so far. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm terrible at this actually. Are you oh my god! I need to get better at this. Look at my health. Let me heal up real quick. How much do I, how much of those I have? One left. Uh, all right, I got to just ow. What's wrong with you? Are you just a machine or something? I gotta treat this health like it's my own. Oh, is that a? Can I take your bag? You don't need it anymore. Read. Does what? Oh, this he is this a checkpoint or something? Oh wait, no, I just used my last time. Um, I'm an idiot. To a person hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. What strange creature? Across what room? My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out though. I'd say I fared better than he. What? I'm so confused. Oh, that thing. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said old oh, crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. Oh, that's Pete. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth floor of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. Aww. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rhinoka. Those dungeons are not not what they seem. Damn. Thanks for the information, bro. I, I appreciate it. Okay, now I can actually go in and read. 
big boss gonna kill me? I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be upset with little me. Wait, the pendant? Am I supposed to use the pendant? How do I use it? I'm pressing L, but it's not working. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay. And I'm out. Nice. Alright, that's my first dungeon. Not not too bad. Oh, uh, hey, old man. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learn to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon, and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the no on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed. Huh, yeah. Alright, um... That's the town board. Okay, let me see. Are you insinuating that I should invest in... Investments town... Wooden hat. What is this? Is brute force getting nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the town hat and find some potions. Okay. Boy, Rhinoka has seen better days when your grandpa first opened Moonlighter. People from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... Alright, man, we get it. It's The town's falling apart. But don't worry, I'll fix that. Hopefully. Can I break this? I, no. I wish I could. I don't know why, but I wish I could. Alright, let's check the shop. Okay, I'm, I'm, how do I change the price of this? How do how do I do stuff? Let me tone that down. How about a clean 130? Golem core. Hold on. Core of the, the very the core or the very heart of a golem. We have found ways to harness the energy, but we are unable to create life from it. Huh. Alright, I see. I'm gonna drop some other things here and see what see what they what they think about it. I'm gonna price this at one I'm I'm going up to two hundred. Two hundred And then this cool seventy. A water lab. I'm gonna put one up here and price that at one fifty. One fifty open shop come on in guys see what's in store oh that's too pricey we're real oh so the water lamp they love that so I'm gonna put one I'm gonna put the water lamp back so they love the the, the, the pot and the lamp this pot, they said 70 was a deal breaker, was... What am I saying? $70 is too cheap. They, they, they grab that up real quick. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna hype that up to... Oh wait, I only had one. Well, when I find one more or more again, I'll do that. Alright, um... Real quick, I'm... I'm gonna end this episode here. I've actually gotten a quick look at how this game is and... I'm interested. Don't know if you guys are interested though, but I'm gonna keep playing. You know what I'm saying? I do like feedback though, so if you, you know, if you have any feedback to how this, how this could go, any tips or anything, you help me out in the comments, would you? Alright, uh, 
yeah, leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want more. And later, guys. <laughs>